Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome here to Garoka. I forgot to do the intro today because I was chatting with these guys behind me. But we're going out to Narambi, a place I have not taken you guys before. I'm excited about it because I haven't been out there in like two plus years or something like that. So, our generator on. We've already got a prop push forward. Our alternator auxiliary bus. It's just a 23 minute flight out there. We used to have missionaries out there many years ago that were there for like 20 plus years. We used to have a lot of flights out to Narambi, but now we do not. We are 7,100 pounds, so we'll rotate at 62 and 74 going in. Broker talk, good morning. November Tango Zulu, request taxi Narambi 5 POB. Everything is a little great now. Motor drove. My apologies, sir. Uh, what do you say again, please? Never pretend to request taxi Narambi. 5 POB requesting 17 right. Everything is a little. Thanks, uh, and Motor Ryan. Taxi to run a 17 right to enter and backtrack once and left. Wind calm, QH 1021, temperature 16, time 05. Morning, we're on 1021. Clear the backtrack. 17 left for 17 right. Ever make sure. Fuel caps and selectors, controls are good. We've got all of our switches and instruments set up. Already there. We've got all of our T's and P's set up. Our flaps are set, indicated, and verified at 20. Our radar is already on standby. Our trims are set up. If we have to board on the runway, we're just going to remain on the runway after takeoff. Pitch for 85 knots. Consider PL, consider feather. Any full flaps, make my emergency call. Master doesn't crack my door. November Tango, Zulu ready to line up. November Tango, Zulu, line up in turn one turn right. Line up one turn right, November Tango, Zulu. And it's already really bright out at 8 in the morning. Love this time of year just because the skies are so blue and nice cold mornings. I want to pick up a pair of these sunglasses. I do have them on my website now. So I've got gold, silver, glass lenses. They're actually really nice quality. So I've been using them almost for a year now and I love them. I've been putting Zulu ready for departure. Zulu. And uh, your separation with uh, the preceding company airborne still on runway heading. Once in right, make left turn, clear for takeoff. Make left turn, clear for takeoff, one seven right, November, Tango is over. So Tango Kilo is executing right hand turn, we'll be out of your way. November, Tango is over. 1390 for 1440. Air's torque is set, air speed's alive now. Preferred up there, taking a right. There's 50 continuing. There's 62 and rotate. I got a bunch of birds up here in the runway. I came awfully close to hitting one yesterday. Like it was sitting in the grass and right as I was like 10 feet off the ground, it decided to take off. Came about 10 feet from smacking it on my wing. It was a big one, too. Oh man, what a beautiful morning. All right, over 85, we'll go 10 degrees of flaps. Over 90, we'll go zero and bring our prop to 2,000 RPM. Broken Tower, November Tango Zulu. Departed time 10, tracking 156 on climb 9,000. Estimating Narambi circuit 33. Fumiting is on the 9th Elton, and contact Mosby, primary VHF 120, decimal 7, signal HF 6622 at 15 miles. 1207, 6622, 15 miles. No, from Tango Zulu. Right, so he's giving me two frequencies 1207, which is our VHF, which is just the radios that come with the aircraft, and then he's given us a secondary of 6622, which is our HF radio, in case for some reason I can't get a hold of them on VHF. So VHF is basically like direct line stuff and our HF will actually 
transmit kind of along with the ground, so it'll go over top mountains. So when we're down in valleys, there's a bigger chance that we will be able to get a hold of them with HF. But then sometimes you can get a hold of them just fine on VHF as well. So it's kind of a hit and miss. But like I said, I have not been out here to Narambi in like two plus years at least. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up the strip chart for you guys so you guys can see what I have to look at. But Narambi, the elevation is 4,800 feet, so our pattern altitude is going to be 52, or correction, 5,800 feet. Make sure there's no notes about the touchdown zone being different. There's not, because it's pretty much flat. It says it's a 5% slope, but it looks more or less flat. I think maybe the first maybe 100 meters or so might have a little bit of slope, but other than that, it's not. It says it's a, a two-way runway, I believe, but really we're, we'll be landing on runway 01. I've never landed on the other way. Can be pretty slippery at times because it's made up with this like red clay that's almost kind of like ice. Don't have any landing penalties going in there. It's early in the morning. There shouldn't be any winds really at all. Maybe one or two knots at absolute most. Sometimes you'll have tailwinds going in there. But one of the things with this place is I tend to get low on like turning final, I'll get low because the whole valley just drops out below you. So you're basically, when we get out there, you'll see, but we'll be following along this ridge and we'll do a left-hand pattern. But then when you're at base, like the whole valley is like way, way low below you. So it really throws with like your visual cues off. So that's why it's super important when you are going into like these type of mountain airstrips is to just always go off of numbers, not off just what you what it looks right, because a lot of times what looks right is not right. So I just need to make sure that I'm turning my final at the altitude that I want to so that I'm not coming in low. And one way that I do that is I will put down here on my timer reference button, we have our minimums that you can use for um, shooting an approach. Like an ILS or something, you put in your minimums. You can also put it in whatever you want. So the pattern altitude was going to be 5,800. So turning final is going to be 5,300 feet. So that's what I can put in here. But once I get to 5,300 feet, Eddie will remind me, hey, minimums, minimums. And then I know, hey, don't go any lower than this because this is where I actually want to be in case I am sagging on my approach. While I'm out here, I'm going to shoot an on-the-ground video. Because I haven't been out here and we don't go out here often, I'm going to take the time today because one of my other flights was already canceled. Uh, so I have a little more time today. So I'm going to shoot a quick little on-the-ground walk around the airstrip, throw up my drone. So if you're interested in seeing that, check out the Patreon page link down below. And um, yeah, you can see what it looks like there. And a little bit more than what you see from just the video landing. The chime you just heard was 200 feet yet to go up to 900,000. But now that we're leveled off, we're going to bring our power lever back so that our torque comes on down to 1250. We'll just leave it at 1250 for our cruise. As we pull it back, we can actually take a little bit of that right rudder pressure out because we don't need as much trim in for just cruise. Morris B120, decimal 7, November Tango, Zulu transfer. How can I get him there? Morris B6622, November Tango, Zulu transfer. Morning, no contact, 1207, 17 miles to the south, Garoka maintaining 900,000. Estimating the Rompi time, 32. Confirm 1012, November Tango Zulu. November Tango Zulu, confirm, area QNH 1012. 1012, thanks. In this little area that we're going out to today with Narambi, there's actually quite a few little airships. Let me bring them up here so I can show you. So in this little tiny section here, I mean, what we've got, these are active ones, the blue ones are. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 airstrips, all really, really close. So we go to Andacombe, we go to 
Oh, there's also another one here. St. Denny is not even showing up. Marawaka. On days, yeah, we've been there a few times. Simbari, I've shot a video out there with you guys, as well as Sydney and Dukombe, Marawaka, Narambi. We used to go to Gama quite often. I've shot into Samogu as well, and Aziana. That's like, I think, the steepest one that, that I know of, the steepest one here in PNG. There's a, I think it's like uh, 16 to 19% slope at the steepest. Like, touchdown, I think, is 12%, but then it goes up, but it's short. I mean, it's... I think 300 meters long, but it's a pretty, pretty short place. Um, it's not a hard place to land, and, and not even intimidating. It's actually really fun, but I have not had an opportunity to even show you guys that on a video yet. Anyways, yeah, if you're into flight simming, there's a lot of places in this little tiny area that you could just jump around from airstrip to airstrip on Microsoft Flight Sim, and I know that a lot of them are on there, and some of them like um, Denny and Sambari, I don't think are, but on my Patreon page, I have a link to uh, some guys have made them that you guys can add in there, so really, really cool. But you guys can see that the tallest mountain out ahead of me, that's the ridge I need to get over top of to get down into the valley, the Sambari Valley area. And it's the Sambari people group is, is where I'm to, as far as I know. So we've got Sambari Airstrip and then Narambi, but it's still the same people group and it's still the same language group. So my plan is to come in and then head in through the Narambi Gap. There's also a Sambari Gap in this area, but we'll head in off to the left just because it's going to be a little bit easier. We'll just basically descend down through it, fly right overhead, enter into a left downwind, and then just go through our whole pattern. Just take a look to see what the Narambi Gap is. What the altitude is, it's been so long since I've been through it. 7,200 feet. What I can do is put in 7,200 feet. I'm gonna just start my descent now. I do have passengers on board today, so I don't like zooming down as fast as I can with them. And I'm just going to adjust my descent rate by just watching my little blue arc right here on my screen because it's going to show me when I'm going to um, arrive at that specific altitude. As we get into the pattern here, there's a really cool waterfall that's just right off to the, my right wing on, um, on left downwind. So you guys will have to keep an eye out for that because it's a really cool waterfall. We're going to be going directly right over top of Samogu. If you guys want to see a video going into there next, um, probably won't remember to link it at the end of this video, but I do have a video going into Samogu. I just went in there recently. Uh, and it was, yeah, it, that's a really cool, fun place to go into. That's a really great introductory that we use for like our new pilots and stuff. And it was one of my first kind of uh, mountainous airships here in the highlands that I went into just because it's like a five or I think it's like a six five six percent slope so it's really not that big of a deal but uh, I remember the very very first bush landing I ever did here in PNG like a, like a slope strip and it was like a seven percent slope and I was super nervous I didn't botch it up, but I was still pretty nervous, though. And if you're wondering, do you still get nervous flying? No, I don't. Like, I wouldn't say that there's any place that I've been here now that I'm nervous about flying into. But there are other places that have elements about them that are more stressful. They can be more stressful, like depending on the winds and things trying to get in and you have tailwinds and how much weight you have and there's and maybe adding weather in there things can build up pretty quick where it can be stressful where one day it can be great super fun and another day not so much but no i don't get stressed flying here to these places i really really enjoy it all right, we're almost out of the gap now. We're 6960, we'll be landing at 6900. So we'll put our V-Ref, our approach speed down to 73 knots. We said we're landing on zero one. So I'm gonna hit my OBS button. Turn it to, uh, what was it? Caution, terrain. Right. Caution, terrain. Thank you. 
Uh, it was uh, runway zero one. So turn this all the way down here to zero one zero. We'll go right around this corner. Our selectors and brakes are good. Our taws are off. Our VREF is set up. We'll do our landing light, our bypass. If we do need to go around, it's power up, 20 degrees of flaps. It's for 73 knots, right hand turn out, reset our ITC to 740. That's autopilot off. Up and harness. We'll just remain at 7400 today to get through this little area. And just start bringing our power back, slow us down so we can get going down to 5800 feet for pattern altitude. All stations in Arapi, one, two, zero, decimal seven, Kodiak, November, Tango, Zulu, six miles to the north, 7,500, circuit three, two, Narabi. Just five miles out, a couple thousand feet to drop, or about 1,500 feet or so. Let's push our prop forward. This place usually, this time of year it's pretty nice, but usually this whole valley is really more of a morning, a morning flight, because what will happen is all the the planes way down there ahead of you, you can see there's some low clouds up there. All those clouds will just push up in here and just fill this whole valley up with clouds. And once you get in, I mean, if you land and it comes in, man, you're stuck. Morris V6622, November, Tango, Zulu. November, Tango, Zulu, Morris V. November, Tango, Zulu is in the circuit. Narabi, cancel SAR. November Tango Zulu, Narabi, thanks. All stations in Narabi, November Tango Zulu is in the circuit in Narabi. All right, look for this waterfall, wherever it is. It's off here on the right somewhere. Got a thousand feet to drop for my pattern altitude. Let's go 10 degrees of flaps now. Pop and harness are done. Bringing my power back, that will slow us down. That way I get 20 degrees of flaps in. Oh, there it is up there. There's not much water. Yeah, well, there's not much water. Usually that thing is like pouring out. Not much water there today, though. All right, we will plan to land in that kind of dirt area, a light dirt area. So right about the first in around in that area 500 all right we want 73 83 and 93 93 and downwind there's our pattern altitude ups to go we're gonna lose 300 feet now turning uh, correction turning base 5500 go out a little bit because I feel really close to it. We're gonna go out 1.6 nautical miles before we turn our base. It's gonna be a quick base though because I'm pretty close just because of this mountain. I probably could have hugged it a little bit more, but I didn't. There's 1.6, reduce some power. Turn a base up into 5,300. On to 83 knots, there's our 83 knots. We're really close to it. Air is perpendicular. Minimums, minimums. Minimums. Like I'm a little far out. Full flaps. Nicholas is complete. Turning final. One to 73. And don't drag in. Sun is bright. Yep, I'm already feeling like I'm a little low. Our checklist is complete. 73 knots, there we go. All right, 500 feet on the descent, that's looking good. A bit fast. Just the power a little bit, that'll slow me down. 500. Right, don't see anybody on there, so we're continuing. Not a headwind. All right, we're now committed. A 
this is really nice. I like a fence and everything here now. Like I said, I haven't been out here in like two or more years. And last time I was out here, this half the runway was just dirt. Anyways, welcome to Narambi. If you're interested in watching an on the ground thing, I'm gonna throw my drone up real quick. Head over to my Patreon page where I've got a lot of those on the ground content videos for you guys to watch. After this, I'm heading down to Moresby to pick up some more returning missionaries back to PNG. So, anyways, thanks so much, guys, for taking the time to watch. I sure do appreciate it. Give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy the video, and consider subscribing as always if you aren't already. We'll see you guys next time.